It's Tuesday Tip Day. Today I'm going to talk brushes. There are some brush snobs out there that think the only great watercolor brushes are Kalinsky Sable brushes. So I'm going to just show you the difference between Kalinsky Sable and a synthetic brush today, and you can make up your own mind. Come on, let's go. And I'm going to start off with just showing you these two brushes. Um, this is a Kalinsky Sable brush. It's a Winsor & Newton Series 7. It is a size 8. Uh, this one cost $106 and some change. This is actually not Sable. It's actually from a weasel in Russia, but I guess uh, calling it Sable makes it more marketable. Now, this one is a low Cornell. Where's the thing? Here we go. Low Cornell. It's also a size 8, and it is synthetic. And um, it was about eight bucks, might have been ten. It was somewhere between eight and ten dollars. I can't remember how much I paid. So there's already a great price difference. And if you look at the tufts, even though they're the same size brush, this one has a bigger belly, it's fatter, it has a finer point. So you can see that there is definitely a quality difference. So now let's try and see how the performance goes. Let's try. The Kalinsky Sable first. It's the $106 brush. It has a full belly of paint. So let's see how far it'll go. With just one belly of paint. It's doing pretty good too. Oh, oh, now we're starting to dry out. It's starting to lose its paint. So that was the Kalinsky Sable, the more expensive one. Now we have the low Cornell, which is a, have a, a much smaller belly. So let's see how it does with the paint. Okay, not quite, not, it doesn't hold quite as much, but it, it did pretty good against the Kalinsky Sable. So really, and they both have great snap. They snap back. They have great points, and I really think that when you're first starting out, that the synthetic brush will do everything that you need. Wait until you really know that watercolor is for you before you go and spend the hundreds of dollars on the Kalinsky Sables. That's my advice. You do what you want to do. You know what your budget is. But I really think that these are both really great brushes. So, happy painting, guys. I hope you found this tip very helpful. Like I said, join me every Tuesday for a tip that'll save you time, save you money, or make you a better artist.